Hi, I'm um, Kike. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to do a maneuver called boomerang. This is an inverted flat spin, but with a really, really high rotation, spinning rotation. I have drawn these images where the circle is kind of the gimbal on the transmitter and the points are the stick location. These images are for mode 2 and I have each sequence and where the at each stage of the maneuver where the sticks should be at. So before we go in that sequence I like to mention that it's extremely important to have the CG in the correct location. If you look at the manual, uh, the recommended CG, I believe it was 174 millimeters. So get that CG right. If the airplane snows heavy, for example, it will not do this maneuver. If it's a little bit after, it will do it. But I always recommend the Piranha not flying further than 180 millimeters. So having the CG right is very important. The other thing is you need to be in high rate to do this maneuver. So you're going to enter inverted and you're going to stall the airplane inverted. It's important for this maneuver to get altitude. You need good altitude in order to first get this, understand what's going on, but you need the altitude to get the rotation. Um, that spinning rotation high speed is very relative to the altitude. More the airplane falls, more energy it gets, more rotation, more spinning, spinning happens faster. So let's start with the first one. And again, this is mode two. Uh, you can see here, you're, you're stalling the airplane inverted and throttle is all the way down. I like to see the throttle trim all, all the way down and not prop spinning. And you can see here, we're pushing elevator full down. Once you see stall happening, you're going for the next sequence, uh, which is this. And you're going to go full right, uh, rather. And you keep the throttle all, always, remember, not prop spinning, so throttle all the way down. And then you go with the air around full left, and you keep always pushing your elevator full down. So basically what you're seeing here is a negative left snap roll. Once you see this airplane, the airplane getting into a really good tight and nice snap rolls with good rotation, then it's time to go for the next step. The next step is this one here. You can see here that your left hand remains in the same spot. So full right, all travel all the way down. Um, and then you have your right hand is going to change uh, the stick location. Basically, you're going in diagonal from that corner to that corner. So basically, you are going to switch your ailerons and elevator going in the opposite direction. And this movement is in diagonal and at the same time. Once the, you reach this corner here, you're going to see your airplane that it gets really flat and it's rotating at really good speed and then more it falls, more spin rotation you see. So basically you hold your sticks in this, put, in this location and that's basically all you're going to do. Just, just relax and watch. Keep, keep this as shown here. And then when it's time for you to say no more boomerang, you just basically go and neutralize the sticks as shown here. You go throw all, always all the way down and then neutralize your rudder and neutralize your uh, elevator and aileron. Once you do get here like this, it will take probably three, four rotations or spinning rotations to get a uh, stop. And after that stops, the airplane will nose down and you fly out. So basically, um, these are the sequence that you need to go through to get uh, the boomerang. So I hope uh, you understood me and I hope you enjoy it.